Hey, hey, there we are. Good morning, everybody. Tom Rigsby here, seven minutes in the morning. I am your host. This is the morning. Welcome to Monday. Welcome to a new week. This is uh, Monday, August the 14th, I believe. And uh, I think we've got a pretty interesting topic lined up for today, maybe even for the rest of the week. Let me... Um, well, I'm just going to go with that. We'll see how that goes. How was your weekend? I hope it was great. How many of you have seen my Instagram story talking about the weekend whiteboard? Hmm? If you hadn't, you need to go watch that before it expires tonight. It's uh, on Instagram. Go up to the top. There'll be stories up there. You'll see a little bit. I'm 99% sure <laughs> that that'll work. I just played around with some stuff this weekend, uh, trying to get that working, and uh, I'll have more. Uh, I'm going to keep developing that out as we go, so hang in there with me. But uh, the goal is to have a um, uh, a weekend chat, uh, probably with a little deeper dive on some of the content. I'm not sure yet. That's up to you. So just let me know. You can leave that down in the comments when you say hi, whether you're watching live or on the replay. Would you like a recap of what we talked about here during the week? Would you like a deeper dive on some of the content? All up to you. But uh, either way, just leave me that comment. That will let me know what your opinion is. Good morning, Jeremy. Magnificent Monday, absolutely. I, uh, every Monday told somebody yesterday, they said, how you doing? I said, well, I'm upright today, so <laughs> so it's a good day. All right, so this week, uh, as the title of today's show may have given away just a hint uh, of the topic, I want to talk about opportunities. Oh, i got to get a little bit more of that coffee in there. In fact, I'm just going to keep it here close. <clears throat> we have begun to use the word opportunity incorrectly. Um, we like to talk about providing opportunities for everyone, make sure everyone has um, has good opportunities, has an opportunity for a good job. And, and that that's kind of taken on the meaning that opportunity equals a right. A right for a good job, a right for uh, the, the same access to things and in reality opportunity does not mean that you have a right in fact what I like to say is opportunity without risk is a gift not yeah opportunity without risk is a gift opportunity should carry some amount of risk otherwise it's not opportunity it's a gift. Opportunity means you have a chance, not you have a guaranteed outcome. So we've gotten this idea that opportunity means there's some guaranteed outcome. It will create, uh, politicians love to say this, and it sounds great when they say it, it just doesn't mean anything. We're going to create um, opportunities for everybody to have a great job. Well, there's already an opportunity for you to have a great job make one go out and get one I this well, I'm gonna get on a little bit of a political soapbox here but this whole argument about a $15 an hour minimum wage I can show you today how to make $40 an hour because that's what the heavy equipment operator over here at the county shed gets paid just saying now you might not be able to get you know $40 an hour working in an air-conditioned space making sandwiches but, you know, there's risk and there's reward. So, this whole idea about opportunity. We have an opportunity for, a, let's just say, good job since I'm on that tear already. Well, there comes some risk with that, doesn't there? I mean, even, let's just say that that does mean I get the job. You can still get fired from it, right? If you don't do the job well, right? So, real opportunity has to come with some measure of risk. Now, the, the amount of risk typically indicates the amount of the reward. Hence, the heavy equipment operator gets paid more. There's a greater risk that he or she is going to be injured driving that piece of equipment. They have to endure some time out in the sun, probably the rain, right? I mean, those 
that that's just part and parcel with opportunity. Now, in the business context, right, you have opportunities to win clients. You have opportunities to lose clients, right? And you have opportunities to bid on contracts, and you have the opportunity to win or lose them, depending on how well uh, you formulate your your proposal. I mean. I'm all about opportunity, and I want to give as many people opportunity as possible. I'm just kind of done with this whole idea that opportunity means a foregone conclusion. So, because opportunity, uh, or um, risk rather, is inherent with opportunity, then we also have to get our head wrapped around risk. Right? What is it? How do we... Should we even try to mitigate it? I mean, all things to do with risk. I, I think I think we might spend some time uh, for the week this week talking about risk and opportunity, have the relationship that the two have together, um, and how we can use those two. There's actually a way that we can use risk to improve our opportunity and use opportunity to mitigate our risk. Well, how about that? That's some heavy-duty stuff. All right, so let me check out a couple of comments here. Say good morning to folks that are watching. Jeremy, you're having a great morning. Joe, good morning to you, sir. Vicki, uh, Brooke, good morning to you. Greater skill also, yeah, absolutely. Brooke says greater skills increase your opportunities. I think you, you were going with, in, uh, I don't know, we'll go with opportunity. Kind of got cut off in the middle of the word there. Greater skill increases your opportunity also. And it will increase your income. And it, well, well, it increases everything, right? If you are better at what you do, then your opportunities improve, your income improves, your satisfac your job satisfaction improves. Now, we did talk a little bit last week or the week before about, you know, what if you're doing something that you're really good at but you really don't like? So... They're not uh, uh, welded together. There's a good metaphor. They're not welded together, right? Just because you're good at something doesn't mean you have to keep doing it. Do something that you enjoy, all right? But uh, but definitely Brooke's point that if you increase your skills and you're able to demonstrate an improvement in your skills, then you're going to increase your opportunity and your income. But those two just go hand in hand. One of the things that I like to, uh, one of the stories that I like to tell is back in the day when I had the, uh, the business helping lawyers go to uh, take their case to trial. I never went to law school. Well, I knew how to make a presentation and I knew how to create results. And I knew how to take care of things so that they could focus on their work. Right? And those results created greater opportunities for me. One of the cases that I worked on, our client was an insurance company and the, uh, the in-house counsel for the insurance company said, Tom, you do a fantastic job. I want you to work on every case that we have. I gave her a big stack of cards, and she turned around and gave them to all the lawyers um, that, that she had cases with. That's where we got a lot of our work. But it was because of the results uh, that I was able to create. So uh, definitely your skills improve your opportunities. Your results improve your opportunities. Now my comments are all wonky up there and I can't read them. I don't want to miss out on uh, on anybody. Hey Stephanie, good morning, good to see you. Cycling while you watch. There you go. That is, now I say multitasking is a myth, but that's one case where it's not. If you can walk, if you can cycle, if you can uh, chew chewing gum, you can listen to this show at the same time. Appreciate all of you being here. Hey, don't forget to go out and check the Instagram story. That will expire. Uh, around nine o'clock tonight so don't wait till nine o'clock um, but go check that out it's in Instagram up in the story just look for my picture and there'll be a little bit of a discussion about what I'm thinking for uh, the weekend whiteboard give me your comments let me know what you think about that and uh, and we'll continue to develop that theme that idea as we go during the week so we're also talking about risk and opportunity this week if you know somebody who could benefit from uh, eavesdropping on our conversations, I would appreciate if you would just share this video. Go down the button down the bottom right-hand corner, click on share, and put that either out on your feed or send it directly 
to someone who could benefit from being here. Thank you so much for, for you being here today. I'll talk to you tomorrow, 7 o'clock, when we come back. Take care.